Hello everyone, I am with you again this week and I'm so excited because we are getting great, you know, the feedbacks and the question about our course. This week I want to talk about our action part, which is like you know, app promotion plan and like how we how you guys can make your app more visible in your app store and you know, other kind of things. And first of all, I just want to show you like one thing is about the Android. We didn't cover it, and a lot of people ask this question. Yes, we are tracking you know app in Android too. For example, let's add an app Tinder in Android in US. Same things. All you gotta do is choose you know the this platform and countries. In Android, you can add it and this app. And, and especially in Android, we're tracking, we're getting a lot of, you know, the, the keywords. And that's the reason like, you know, it might be too much to submit it. What do you gotta do? Our team is, you know, the just clean up this thing and just make it like, you know, easy to, you know, submit it. You the more keywords, but right now you can just, you know, the, choose all of them in comment A and then delete it. And add the keyword you want to add it like date, hookup, dating, you know, hot girl. I'm just checking. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> like, see that is that what's going on. Like, you know, uh, and in Android, is, it's interesting because there's only 250 apps. I mean, keyword results come up uh, when you search any keyword term. And then, for example, hot girl, there's no result for Tinder. But these are the results right now in iOS. I'm sorry, Android in, 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 in US. For example, dating. Um, OKC is number one. And then like, these are the top 10 results. We're also showing like, you know, the Android, the same things, what we are showing iOS. And Android is like, algorithm is a little bit different than iOS. And I want to talk today a little bit about Android, uh, because like this flexion is going up and down. It's not really too much common in iOS. Yes, every new update you can, you can see some, you know, down and up, you know, up. But in Android, there's no like, you know, four or five days waiting to you know new, new update that's the reason like um pretty much you know app developers or app marketers they're updating their app every day so that's the reason like this this you know up and down and like just something i want to um search tinder keyword just curious like what's going on tinder yeah, they're number one but hot or not is like you see like number two so also you can compare tracking in android um, all you gotta do is search, like, let's say hot or not, and then just click it, and then, like, you know, just you can find it. Or let's say, okay, see, or keep it, and you can just click it and start tracking. And that's like how it's work. And that thing is still Android is like a little bit beta when we compare the iOS, but. Um, we're coming there, so just uh, sit tight and we'll we'll make Android look same what we've done. Great job in iOS. You can you can see the also launch campaign, you know, Android and trends and everything too. Okay, so let's back in our topic in iOS in more detail how actions works and ad spending workout. So I want to add. Okay, I want to add Tinder in iOS. You know, you see the app icon is also different because the companies, they're, they're doing different things, you know, iOS and Android. You see just like less app, I'm sorry, less keyword because uh, App Store algorithm is just only tracking the, you know, the app name and keyword spot, but Android is like in a website like SEO, they're pretty much looking for everything. The description, description matters a lot and a lot. So they're more like, you know, the website, you know, perspective to track in the, you know, the um, app pages and app, but iOS is different. This is like kind of also another, you know, the insight and tricks. So you can learn a lot of things and change a lot of things in Android easily, but in iOS, you gotta wait another update. It takes like five, six days. 
and Apple always like you know very uh, conscious about uh, new features or new changes so that's the reason it takes time but Android pretty much is you can just ship it and then go ahead yeah one thing is that is yeah I think so I am having some time let's do daylight yeah, it's gonna be way better okay let's just submit these guys again I just want to be cover like more things um, I want to yeah I'm sorry guys yeah it's way better yeah so yeah because my eyes is not really good these days um that's something is in in in, in iOS I want to show you guys um a little bit like what's going on right this is something is like a lot of you know search score iPhone chance and iPad chance because different devices different result and that's like something you can see in iOS but in Android pretty much is you cannot see it that much because um that was an iOS I'm sorry um I want to just go uh, you know Android and Android one is like um it's pretty much you know just every device the same just 250 results and that's it that's pretty much very simple and when we compare the iOS let's, okay let's back in iOS guys again so yeah today i want to tell you guys like more things about i think so we covered everything but please um you know after this um video i'm gonna ask you guys like some couple things and we'll, we'll definitely talk these things next week too but yeah let's jump in action but okay so an app store um it's a different place let's say ios pretty much an android the same things uh, it's a two way to you can get discovered by user. Number one is we cover first two weeks the search keyword results and search. Number two is top charts. So we show you guys how it works in you know the keyword tracking, how you got you know your competitor data and other stuff. But uh, I want to tell you today it's more interesting things. Probably a lot of you know people they just figure out it, but they don't have that much insight and how you know people is making their app top 10 or top 50 or top 100 their categories because um after ios 8 just only you can see top 150 uh, apps in each categories and if you not make your top 50, top 150 your app in your category you're invisible so that's the reason we want to make everyone and we want to give the data for free uh, we're showing you guys category by category how many downloads you needed to hit the you know top charts. So we're only just providing you next two weeks because this is data we can uh, predict it. So let's say if you want to make your app next week and you want to make your app, this is default came from the app you're adding lifestyle. If you want to learn another app, you gotta add a new app and then that app will be the different category and then she'll give you that data okay if you want to make your app top 100 you need that uh, in lifestyle category in the us by the way this data is only us uh we're just providing the you know different countries for uh, our our um enterprise type of client but for the free data it's for only us and 24 different categories in ios it's pretty much it's, it's also great data so um, in 24 hours in that day, if you want to make your app top 100, you need that much downloads and average CPI in the market rate is 1.59 and you need that much $1,600 and to hit the top 100 in category. And top 50, it's big difference from 1,000 downloads to 35, hundred and to top 10 is almost triple triple more in top 50 yeah these are just estimate data which is like great 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 insight so um when you launch campaign in, in here actually we just get notified from the uh our team custom success team we can show that as like who is the people in this account they they're interested in we work with you. We just understand your your like you know um, 
expectation what do you want it that season we will work on your campaign if you want to do it that day but i mean if you know what you want to do or you're just ready to test out just jump in here launch campaign and then the launch campaign is a, is a two option uh boost campaign and then engage user campaign that this app promotion plan i just show you guys pretty much is the relevant data for the you know the boost campaign and engage campaign we are not letting the people do start the campaign if they they didn't talk to you know dark team or they didn't integrate their itunes connect or they don't know what's their best roi and ltv that's the reason you can only just start the campaign launch campaign and then for the burst some people say burst some people say boost which is pretty much you know the hidden specific download or ranking target simple one day or a couple days you know campaign i want to show you guys how it works and then then after that is um we'll walk through the different things so if you want to do lunch campaign this is current app it just came from and the campaign title let's say um top 10 in lifestyle in campaign due to details i know what i am doing just executed okay um the 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 campaign target you can choose any company any countries and that's fine um let's do it in the us for this time in devices iphone starting date is uh we are just you cannot do same day at least two days later that's still thursday and ending day is um let's say friday and we have two options cpi or cpc cpi is we're only charging the cost per download or cpc is just something like uh we're you're just only paying for doing you know, a click so i mean it's all up to you but uh, if we can work with our team we can we can analyze like you know what do you need it and what's like your goal what's the budget we can tell you that is uh, what's going on we're gonna add it in here cpa cost per action which is something um like just only pay for you know the action which is will be the new uh, feature in probably in a short time Let's say cpi and and you want to make your app top 10 you can see still in here you need that much downloads go to budget let's say we have that much budget because we want to get you know top 100 because we uh actually saw that as like 1.50 something ever cpi but we need it just like data maximum you know budget is we want to do same one day and we want to get um from dollar value but i can definitely encourage you like something and daily maximum is like no max can be nope let's say that, let's do this thing so and then total budget let's do this this way and total budget is but let's do that way and at least like you will have a credit for the next campaigns so the tracking services uh, you can choose like mat adx flurry we just put in here but i mean it's it, we have more than you know the uh flurry to you know um accepting those integration when you save and continue you gotta you gotta see that you gotta add it because this is the total budget and then all you gotta do is add it and then your credit card <coughs> and it's just showing you like you know how much you need to add it and if you put the credit card boom you're fine so and it, or you can save and continue and then team will will, will tell you that is if you want to do wire transfer or other kind of you know the payment method we, we definitely work on so and then submit it but you, you're seeing that what's going on and what's the time and this is like pretty much summary if you just submit it um you can see that under the like you know the uh, launch campaign this is the current campaign is going on but still waiting for april approval and then other cool thing is that is um we we got notified everything when you just submit it and the other cool thing is that when the campaign start you can see daily you know the summary of like, what's going on the campaign how much we we spend it what how many downloads you got it totally spend those kind of things so yeah i mean mobile action as a tool it's one-stop shop which means like you know you can track your app data your competitor data and then also 
just learn the inside about any app and then like just do ad spending and and get you know the data from like the category how many downloads you need to be hit you know specific goals and other stuff i think so um not we are from mobile now i'm saying this it's it's a great you know the tool for execution because a lot of you know the tool or outsider they're just saying something but i mean they you don't have a you know tool to execute it so this is something we're just definitely telling the you know people if your app is um visibility score is lower than C, you should not spend any money. This is another insight. If your app is already C+, like Tinder or some tool, some other apps, for example, in here, if it is all app, you should not to be you know, at spending, but if you are Vinted, for example, C+, this is the app, you should spend money because, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, this app is a good uh, ranking, it's a good, you know, insight, reviews, and, they don't have any retention or engagement problem too much. So that's the something um, you can start pay the acquisition. But we're always saying that is if your app is C, C and lower than C and you are not utilizing and, and you are not getting low hanging fruit for you know the um, those free downloads and app store optimization, you should be optimized with us or with just using this tool and then and then hit you know that better visibility score then turn on those paid acquisition even your postmark you should not do it in ad spending because um according to our data <coughs> you are you don't utilize very well uh your um, organic visibility so this week also our team is adding the um the question uh like you know survey like what what should i be covered next week to answer your question, uh, the one more thing is this: after you you can submit your question, we already start tracking the everyone who sign up to you know the art uh, certification program and then who sign up the product too. <coughs> A lot of people already sign up, but if you didn't sign up, today is the last you know chance to sign up the product and start using this because we only be sending you know the, the exam. The people who are engaged the product and which means that it's like quite quite you know the um, know what we are doing with the product and who has you know the better understanding of app store optimization and app store you know the growth and if you didn't you know the sign up the product but you might be watch all videos and you might be know it but you don't know the mobile action so we are sorry but we cannot provide you our certification program so yeah Thank you so much again and then um i'm sorry for like a uh, second week video because i was I, sh I didn't share too much stuff and i was saying interesting and interesting because everything is interesting but yeah uh, i was waiting this week to you know share those inside um yeah it's pretty much and looking forward to see you guys next week and then i'll be more than happy if you can submit the questions like you know watch the, which topics I should be covered next week or last week. Then after that, we're going to send you guys the exam for like, you know, last assignment to, to do, um, to do fill out and then be answered for the question. And if you are qualified, we have some couple of, you know, the, uh, place we're checking to, are you qualified or not? So number one, of course, you got to pass the exam. The second thing is you gotta, you should be engaged product user and, you should integrate it to your items if you're an app developer because those are the important things. And you might be uh, start testing this week ad spending part because um, when you be turned to be App Store Growth Taker, <coughs> I'm sorry, App Store Growth Taker, you just not only need to know the the organic download, you should not need to know you should need to know that also paid acquisition. So that's the reason you can add it some some uh the funds and then try to test it there uh, how our uh, smart ad spending work out and at the end of this course who are successfully done this course and passed the exam everyone ha will have hundred dollar ad spending credit which is also great things to to do you guys uh start and testing the mobile action uh, uh promotion plan 
Thank you so much again, and and I'm looking forward to see you guys next week. Bye bye.